Like this is the stuff that Iron Man used to make his like new mm -hmm. element. Thingy. Okay, so that's yeah. how rare it was that Marvel was using it in a movie. <laughs> so we we can't be dependent on platinum and palladium to to like recycle the tons and tons of plastic, right? Headline: New nickel catalyst enables no sort mixed plastic recycling. This is a uh, new, brand new breaking research coming out of Northwestern University. They put their paper out in Nature Chemistry. Yeah. Usually it's in this thing called polyolefin, um, which is a CH2, carbon two hydrogens, attached to, the, to a C and an H, and then some other thing, an R group, a residual group. Um, those are the things that are basically two thirds of the global plastic chain this is like you know your milk cartons and um plastic spoons and all like plastic wrap mm -hmm. and all this other kind of stuff um single use really short lifespan right there's one option that has a little bit of hope okay, okay? and that is this thing called um hydrogenolysis okay it's basically breaking it down in the presence of hydrogen and what it does is the hydrogen sort of comes in along with some kind of catalyst like that helps this reaction and that hydrogen comes in and with the carbons and the hydrogens there it creates hydrocarbons okay. that can then be used for either fuel or like waxes mm. or like these higher sort of um, lubricants now usually this hydro hydrogenolysis takes catalysts and those catalysts have um, are require like higher order elements rare earth elements mm. like platinum palladium we don't got we, we don't, don't got, got a lot of that like stuff. the amount of plastic we got they they found a way to catal uh, catalyze hydrogenolysis using a catalyst made out of nickel mm -hmm. which is very abundant mm -hmm. furthermore this catalysis only targets a specific type of this polyolefin okay because as i said this is the co2 ch2 right yeah. and then there's the r group yeah. that r group can be sometimes h which makes it polyethylene you just get this chain of carbons with hydrogens attached yes like a caterpillar yes or you get for um polypropylene you get um the chain of carbons with carbon sticking out yep. okay and so what you want to do is you don't want to recycle these together Okay. And usually that requires separation. Mm -hmm. And that's really, really just a pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All both, right, nobody wants to do this. Both, both time and cost prohibitive. So it's doing the sorting within the chemistry. Within, within the... At the facility where they're going to be doing the recycling. Yeah. Regardless of the input, the chemical process itself is doing the job of separation exactly that we otherwise are in some cases in some places depending on humans to put things in different buckets yeah exactly